Hello everybody, uh, I'm back with another tutorial to show you how you are supposed to download and install the Tomcat server on your system. As we are dealing with solvents in Java, it is absolutely essential that we have the Eclipse IDE as well as uh, the Tomcat server installed. There are lots of other servers, but for this tutorial and for the purposes of our curriculum, we are going to be using Tomcat only. So to download Tomcat, just head on over to tomcat.apache.org and there you will see a list of versions of Tomcat that are available for download. On the right hand side, th there we have, on the left hand side, sorry, on the left pane we have Tomcat 10 which is in alpha. So it's not a fully developed version, it's still in testing, so we are going to skip that. And then uh, below that we have Tomcat 9 over here. See Tomcat 10, after that we have Tomcat 9. So when we click on Tomcat 9, this page opens up and from this list we are going to select a version of Tomcat that is suitable for our requirements. We are going to select this one, that is the 32-bit, 64-bit Windows Service Installer. Okay. So I have already downloaded Tomcat on my system, so I am not going to be showing you the entire process right from the beginning. So I have it in one of my folders. So here we have Apache Tomcat version 9.0.34. So let me show you how you can install it right now. So once we double click on the Tomcat icon, the installation starts. Okay, from here we will select full. And we need to make sure that this is installed as a service so that we can start and stop Tomcat from Eclipse itself and leave all other options at their default settings. Click next. Uh, server shutdown port. You can put it as 8005. Uh, then after that we have the username and password. You can either give a username and password or you can just leave it blank. I am going to use admin for both the username as well as the password. click next so the default java directory gre directory is under program files on my c drive so i don't need to change it click next and this is the default installation directory once again we will just stick with the default settings and now let it install we will have to wait for some time okay So it's finished. Okay, let us run Tomcat and see what happens. So we are seeing that Windows is attempting to start Tomcat as a service. Here Tomcat is running in the background. We can see the icon over here. So if we double click on the uh, Tomcat icon, we can configure various set settings associated with Tomcat okay so let's just leave all these settings at their default values okay now let us see let us open up the task manager and see from the services window we can check whether Tomcat has been installed as a service or not. If it has been installed as a service then we can start or st stop Tomcat whenever we want to. Uh, yeah, Under Apache Tomcat you can see that it has already started. If I maximize this window see the status is started. Okay. So we will just stop it right now because I will be showing you in a later video how you can run it directly from Eclipse. If you start the, if you start your PC and you see that Apache Tomcat is already running in the background, you should just stop it because otherwise it may conflict with Eclipse and uh, prevent you from running your servlet program or JSP program properly. Okay, so that's all for this video. 
have a good night